everyone! In this video, I'm going to show you how I did these pom-pom bookmarks in my house colors. So first, you're going to need yarn in your Hogwarts house colors. I'm in Slytherin, so I chose these colors for Slytherin. So take both strands from each of your colors and start wrapping it around three of your fingers about 50 times. Um, you can wrap it around more or less depending on how puffy you want your pom-pom. Once I was happy with the thickness, I went ahead and cut it off. Then I cut out a 12 inch strand from one of the colors and put it on the table like so. And I took that little yarn puff ball thing and right from my fingers, I put it over that strand and tied a really tight knot in the middle of the yarn puff ball. That's all what I'm calling it. That's what it is. You can see what I'm doing in the video. <laughs> Make sure it's just really tight and do not cut off the extra bits at the end. Once you're done tying your knot, go ahead and hold on to that bit of yarn that you shouldn't cut and cut. take your scissors and cut the loops on both sides. Once you're done cutting the loops, go ahead and trim the yarn on top to make it into a ball. And you can trim it till you actually like how it looks, basically. This is up to you on how puffy you want your pom-pom to be. Just make sure you do not cut that um, bit of yarn that I told you not to cut. It's best to just hold on to it while you're cutting and trimming the pom-pom. Once you're happy with the way your pom-pom looks, you can tie it to a paper clip or you can get a bit of cardstock paper, cut it into a bookmark and hole punch the top of it. Make sure it's cardstock paper because it has to be heavy enough to withhold the knot you're going to do to attach the pom-pom because it'll rip if it's not heavy enough or you get what I'm trying to say. I just added a quote on it from the sorting hat from the first book I believe it was. Or if you have terrible handwriting like I do, you can always type it up on the computer and print it out on cardstock paper and it'll probably turn out a lot better than mine did. I just had this green cardstock paper I wanted to use and I didn't think the ink would like show up on it so I took a silver marker and wrote the quote on it but I have terrible handwriting so it didn't look as good as it would if I printed it out. Anyways, and the last idea you can do is take three 12 inch strands of yarn, two in one color and one in the other color, and then knot the top and tape it to the table and start braiding all the way down to the bottom and then obviously knot the bottom. Before you add a knot to the bottom, you can always add beads or gems or something to the bottom if you wanted to. Then I just used the bit of yarn that I left on the pom-pom to tie in the braided yarn I just did. Then finally go ahead and cut off that extra bit of yarn after you're done tying in the braid. And that's it! I hope you guys liked this video and if you try it out, post your pictures on Instagram with the hashtag Potter Things so I can see. And thanks for watching!